If you are worried about damage to your curls from things like seawater, sun exposure, chlorine damage, brushing, styling, anything like that, then keep watching this video. <laughs> Welcome back to my channel. As I said, today I am going to give you the key to protecting your hair from damage. One of my favourite brands, Curlsmith, have actually got a new launch and it is this Miracle Shield from Curlsmith. And this product is specifically made to protect all hair types from the six kind of main sources of damage to your hair. So UV rays, chlorine, styling, heat tools, seawater and brushing. So if you're concerned about any of those things damaging your hair, then this is going to be a key to keeping your hair healthy. So, I mean, I haven't actually been abroad on holiday for 13 years. Oh my God, 13 years. Yes. Since I was pregnant with my eldest and he is 13. In fact, he's heading towards 14. So it's been a long time since I've really had to worry about like UV rays and seawater in my hair. However, I have three kids, we do go swimming. And um, in fact, we just went swimming yesterday and of course there's chlorine in the pool. And I do often get people asking me if they go swimming perhaps like multiple times a week, how can they protect their hair? And I've not really had much of a great answer to give them so far. So when Carlsmas said that they were launching this, I was really pleased because I thought I'd be able to actually recommend something that's going to protect your hair from damage from chlorine or salt water or whatever it is. Even things like recently, I confess that I sometimes use full high heat when I'm diffusing for a little while. Um, and so knowing that this is gonna protect my hair against that as well, it's just yet another way that I can not worry about it. So today, as you can see, my hair is unstyled. Like I said, we went swimming yesterday. And so when I was at the swimming pool, we just all washed our hair quickly. I just did a quick cold wash because my hair wasn't particularly dirty. And that was it, I just left it. And then I slept with it in a bun last night, it was dry. Um, but I thought I would try out, I've seen like a little bun, overnight bun, bouncy blow dry hack from my friend Hans Curls and well, it didn't work on me. <laughs> on her hair, it looks like an amazing blow dry. On me, not so much. Not that I hate how it looks, and if I had to go out now, I would. I kind of quite like the sort of messy look. It's, it's quite fun. But what I'm going to do is do like a wash now style later, so it's already washed. I'm gonna re-wet my hair right now, and I'm gonna do my styling routine, and I'm gonna use the Miracle Shield and show you. I mean, it's, it doesn't even need a tutorial. It's that simple. You just spray it on your hair. But I'm gonna show you anyway. Okay, so I re-wet my hair and I did a very, very quick squish to condition because at the pool yesterday, as I said, I just co-washed my hair. I didn't have time to do squish to condition or anything. Um, so we did a quick squish to condition and rinsed all that conditioner out. Now the Miracle Shield says to use it after leaving conditioner before the rest of your stylers. So I'm gonna add some leave-in conditioner now. Uh, I'm gonna use the Weightless Air Dry Cream for my leave-in, just a really small amount, tiny bit. And I'm just going to rake that through. Like I said, my hair's soaking, dripping wet. Just being squished to condish. Squished to conditioned. Squished to condish. I don't know. <laughs> you know what I mean? I'm going to give a really quick brush just to distribute. I do really like brushing to distribute these days, even if I'm not brush styling. I do feel like it just gives me a... You know, it just distributes the product better than I can with my hands. So as, as I said, you just spray this through your wet hair after leaving conditioner and it's going to protect from all those different things that can damage or harm your hair. And I'm going to just give another quick brush through it. I probably could have skipped brushing through the leave-in and just brushed through this, but anyway, it's not going to hurt. My hair is soaking wet, so, oh, it's so satisfying doing that. I don't know why, but I love it when my hair is really wet and got some product in it for slip. Brushing it just feels so good. This is the Tangle Teaser brush, by the way. It was recently sent to me and I'm really liking it for distributing product. It just glides through my hair. Okay, so now I'm going to add the rest of my styling products. So I'm going to add some of the um, Feather Light Protein Cream, just a small, small amount, because these products are really concentrated. And because I'm using a few products, I want to make sure I don't end up using far, far, far too much product. So just a really small amount. My hair is fine. It's easily weighed down and Curlsmith products are concentrated. So um, if you're new to Curlsmith products, I would always recommend starting with really small amounts first and building your way up. I actually love that they're so concentrated because it means they last a 
absolutely ages. To start today, I'm actually gonna use the souffle, the curl defining souffle. And I um, haven't used this a whole heap. Um, and I did use it a while ago, like a few months ago, I did the Curlsmith gel comparison video, which I'll link. And it was to, you know, to help people figure out which Curlsmith gel is the one for you. And I used this and I was really, really shocked at how much I loved the results, it was really defined. And so I've been meaning to use it again ever since, and I haven't done it yet. So I remembered, thankfully, today, because um, I always just go for the Flexi Jelly or the new Shine Jelly. When I was doing the comparison video of the different Curlsmith gels, um, it was like a split head, and then I re-wet my hair and did the other two gels. So the, the souffle was used in the first split head, and then I had to go rinse it out, and I was really, really sad because it looks so nice. The souffle has got a really very <laughs> wobbly texture. Um, and again, it is super concentrated. I really, really find that less is more with the souffle. Um, I don't have a whole heap there. That's probably enough by itself. Um, and it does emulsify, so I just keep rubbing it between my hands and it will spread really, really far. So I think what I'm gonna do is sort of split my hair down the middle roughly and rake it through and just, uh, yeah, try and get it nicely distributed. I think that's probably enough and I'm gonna go with that small amount and then if partway through diffusing, I feel like, oh, do you know what, it needs a little bit more hold, I can always do this master's technique and add more. But I have a few times recently accidentally used too much product. I think I'm getting carried away watching videos of people who have way more hair than me, way thicker hair than me, way longer hair than me and thinking, oh, maybe I need to use more product. And I don't, <laughs> because like you can see when my hair is wet, my hair is very fine. That's all my hair, that's it. <laughs> so although it can, can look quite voluminous once it's dry at times, um, there's not actually a whole heap of it there. So I need to be careful not to use too much because too much product is not a good look. It can make your hair look just overly frizzy, it can make it limp, it can make it just not good, it's just really not good. So again, I am not gonna brush style today, I am just going to brush that through and just brushing the product through at every step gives me a similar amount of definition um, that I get when I do brush styling, but of course it's way, way, way quicker and easier. The one thing I will do though is brush the top sections up away from my scalp because if I don't do that, I won't get any volume at all. Okay, so now I have done that. I'm dropping things on the floor. Now I've done that, I'm going to take this off from here, my towel, and do a quick micro plop. And then I will diffuse my hair. And we'll see, we'll see what we've got. See you in a sec. Okay, I'm back, my hair is dry. I did not add any more product to it. And I am very happy with this, these results got just really kind of juicy big clumps and it's so shiny. That's the thing I remember most about this souffle. It makes my hair like mirror glass shine. Um, and it feels so soft. Almost feels like there's no product in it, but you know, I've got decent definition. Considering I did no brush styling, just brushed it through, I've still got these curls, which generally only appear when I do brush styling. So really happy with the result. And I don't know about you, but it does me good knowing that I've got that kind of defense against the elements. And also when I diffused, I did diffuse on full heat. And I was thinking, oh, well, it's okay because I've got this in my hair. So yeah, I, I'm really pleased. I'm really pleased to have this product to be able to recommend to people who go swimming a lot or who spend a lot of time in the sun or who are going on holiday, you know, and are concerned about their hair. Um, hopefully one of these days that will be me. I might actually get to go abroad on holiday. But when I do, uh, my hair will be sorted. Let me just give you a quick, did I give you a 360 already? I'm losing my mind. I think I did. I'm just gonna do it again. <laughs> I did. Anyway, you got to see the back of my hair twice, so lucky you. Thank you for being here. Thanks for watching this video, and um, I will see you guys soon. Bye.